Travel Across America with me. We made it. This is stop 10 of our 10 stop walking tour of downtown Fort Worth. We are at the Fort Worth Water Gardens. It's all behind the hedge. Let's get down there. We found this map. There are several pools to see. Walking down the steps, the quiet water pool is our first stop. Philip Johnson referred to the story Alice in Wonderland in the description of his design of the Fort Worth Water Garden. He delighted in creating a visitor experience similar to Alice's of growing bigger or smaller and never knowing when either would occur. Visitors to the quiet pool experience both sensations. The small stairway leading to the pool makes visitor feel bigger than their surroundings. After entering the pool, visitors suddenly feel smaller. Johnson very carefully removed any objects of human scale, giving visitors the feeling that they'd suddenly entered a giant house. Philip Johnson used sound throughout the water gardens to create dramatic effects in the landscape and change the way people experience the space. The quiet pool is truly fully quiet and was specially designed by Johnson to create a sense of peace and calm. This pool's peace is the exact opposite of the noisy active pool on the other side of the garden. And you'll want to hang on to see the active pool. It's amazing. It's crazy. It's an adventure for sure. Please take a second to subscribe. Next stop was the mountain, an oasis in an urban jungle. Philip Johnson and John Berge designed the Fort Worth Water Gardens as a series of micro-environments, each stimulating the senses. They designed the mountain to give visitors the sense of the real thing. Its 20-inch steps cascade into one another, creating the sensation of mountainous topography. The mountain steps, as well as the walls of the whole park, are 20 inches high, and the mountain rises 20 feet off the ground. This is not the only part of the garden where Johnson uses multiples of the same number. And it was tough to get a picture of this mountain without people climbing all over it, but I caught one. The mountain's 20-inch steps are a deliberate choice made by the architects. Instead of the standard 16 or 18-inch steps, the 20-inch steps were chosen by Johnson and Berge as a height that invited perching, not laying or reclining, just perching. All right, now the place that we all wanted to see the place that people go to the water garden to go to and experience the active pool expresses exuberance exemplifying architect philip johnson's sense of play in an interview about the park johnson described how he designed the active pool to appear like a canyon lined with rushing water he arranged the descending viewing platforms so that the water travels beneath visitors as they walked to the bottom level and I gotta tell you, that was a little bit of sensory overload. It was interesting. Unfortunately, on June 16, 2004, four visitors, three children and one adult, died when one of the children fell into the central pool and the other three rushed in to rescue the child. The pool was closed immediately and a new design was constructed in 2005-2006 to make it safer. Scenes from the 1976 movie Logan's Run starring Michael York were filmed at the Fort Worth Water Gardens. The noise level in this part of the garden is intentional. Johnson designed the active pool as a mirror of the quiet pool. The all-encompassing peace and silence of the quiet pool is as absorbing as the noise of rushing water in the active pool. The sound of rushing water also wraps itself around the visitor, washing away reminders of the city lying just outside the garden's walls. It was awesome. I loved it. It was crazy. You gotta do it. It was a great way to end this 10-stop tour, for sure. The final pool that we saw was the aerated pool. For architects Philip Johnson and John Berge, designing the aerated water pool presented some challenges. Johnson ultimately wanted the pool to be a visual illusion, giving visitors the impression that they could walk across the pool on tiles made of spraying water. The nozzles in this pool spray at the same height as the walkway without spraying the visitor so that the water collapses on itself, looking ultimately like panels. This pool is playful both because of its visual effect as well as the noise of the sprayer. The pool is 40 feet below ground level and 38 special nozzles spray 871 gallons of water per minute. Boy, that's a lot of water, don't you think? Fort Worth Water Gardens. I want to encourage you to watch the travel playlist to see more exciting places across 
America. As we were headed back to the car, I saw this restaurant. Okay, reason to go back. There's always a reason to go back to great places because you just can't do everything. But I do want to talk a little bit about the other stops. And I want to encourage you to go watch the other shorts and long videos on each of these 10 stops. We started at the Tarrant County Courthouse. It is located at West Weatherford at the top of downtown. And this is where we parked. And when we got out of the car is when we found out that parking was free on the weekends. And that worked out great. We did move the car for stop two. We parked at Fifth and Taylor because the tower, the building with fossils on all four walls on the lower levels, was located between Taylor and Throckmorton, between 4th and 5th Streets. We stayed parked right there to go to Stop 3, the First United Methodist Church. It is located at 800 West 5th. It was an easy walk down 5th Street. And as we were returning to go to our car, we spotted what would become Stop 4, where we found this brushed aluminum man with a briefcase at S.B. Burnett Park. All right, now back to the car. And we moved and we parked on Commerce a little north of 8th Street because I had planned for us to walk Commerce Street back to the car after we'd gone to the water garden. Our plan got changed because of construction. But I didn't know that, so we parked at Commerce and 8th Street for our next stops. Stop 5 was the JFK Tribute. This was an amazing place to stand. This is where President John F. Kennedy gave the final speech of his lifetime. He didn't know it, and neither did anyone in the audience. Next is stop six, and of course we stayed parked where we were, and this is the Flatiron Building. It's located on the corner of West 9th and Houston Street. It's a wedge-shaped building, very similar to the Flatiron in Manhattan. And stop seven, it is situated on the south side of the Flatiron Building. And it's the famous life-size bronze replica of the Fort Worth Five photograph. You'll have to watch that video for sure. Why did these gangsters pose for a picture? And what ended up happening to them because of this photograph? Stop eight. And yes, we did stay parked in the same place. Remember, I did have a reason. And stop eight is St. Patrick Cathedral. And you'll have to watch that video to find out also about the historical school located on the next block. The cathedral is located at 1206 Throckmorton, just one block west of Houston Street, and then stop nine. We actually went to stop nine after stop 10, but it made more sense to present it in this fashion. Stop nine. Well, you know why? Let me tell you why. I really wanted to end with the water garden. It was the grand finale. But when we stumbled all across this building, I certainly wanted to include it. It's the old world. Hurley Building. I saw all these pictures and information attached to the side walls of this building. I was like, I have never seen this before. It was very intriguing to me. And you'll have to watch that video for Stop 9 to find out about the Old World Hurley Building and how it is now a hotel. And one other thing, three of these buildings have at one time been the tallest building in Fort Worth, the tallest building in North Texas. It's just amazing the history you can find in our wonderful cities across America. And as I have presented in this video, the Water Gardens, a great way to end our visit and our 10-stop walking tour. And I had intended for us to just walk north on Commerce to return to our parking, but around the convention center on that east side, there was all kinds of construction and you couldn't exit the Water Garden Park area onto Commerce Street. So we returned to the car via Houston Street and crossing over through Maine to Commerce to our car and then heading out East 8th Street to return to I-35. Easy on, easy off. Tennis shoes on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Tell a friend, share my videos on your social media and follow me to more fun and amazing places. Travel across America with me.